Hey, what's going on YouTube? I got another unboxing for you guys, and then on top of that, I just wanted to show you one of the the pickups that I just got. Um, as you can see here, you got some proof sets. Um, I actually got these from my local pawn shop. Now, when I went in there, originally was talking to the guy, and you know his prices for Silver Eagles and Philharmonics are just astronomically high, you know, but. I'd seen these proof sets there before, and, you know, they're just sitting there, and I asked him about them, you know, and just said, hey, what would the price be on that? And he told me $89. And I'm thinking it was just for one proof set, so I just left it at that. Well, when I went back today, I got some clarification. It was $89 for all of the proof sets. Now, as you can see here, there's a total of seven. There are four, 1963.00 proof sets, and then three, 1962. So, you know, when you do the uh, the math for the uh, the junk silver, for the total silver for the Franklin halves, the quarters, and the Roosevelt dimes, it ends up being $85.74. So, I ended up paying a total of $85 altogether for all seven of them. So, just for the raw price of the... Um, constitutional coinage, I ended up getting like 75 cents under spot, which is a pretty good deal. And so I'm kind of, let me know what you think, guys, if I should try to take these in and, and flip them or, you know, what would be a good idea to do with them. You know, I'll probably keep a couple because my son, he's really interested in, in uh, collecting all of the proof sets. That's what he said. However, as you can see on some of them, um, this one is pretty skunked. A uh, couple of them, they got some, some toning going on. Like I said, they probably got spider holes in them or something like that. So, yeah, guys, just let me know what you think about um, if I should flip them or if I should just hold on to them. Okay? So, let's get with the, um, the unboxing here. I know I got a couple more orders that are out there. And uh, this will be basically... All this over for the rest of the year. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Invoice package. Okay, so it's some more constitutional coinage. Okay. I got these uh off of eBay. It was um it was in a state sale. In my experience, um, <laughs> I think the, the spot price, or actually the, the price you pay for constitutional coinage on eBay, unless you get really lucky, is uh, pretty high. Let's go ahead and pour those out. And, yep. I'll have to go through and take a look at the dates. They're all pre, um, what they said, 1964. But, um, yeah, I know. I, I hear a lot of folks talk about getting uh, some pretty good deals. However, I haven't seen it. Um, but, yeah, just let me know what you think, guys. And thanks for watching.